And now it's time for everyone's favorite Zoom Facebook Live comedy game show, Fill in the Blank, with your host, Aaron Blank, and our house band, uh, Kozak. Hit it! One, two, three, four, five, six. Fill in the blank, 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 fill in the blank, 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 fill in the blank, 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 fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. Lots of dead celebrities. Fill in the blank. Questions about society. Fill in the blank. Very blank is here to please. Fill in the blank, 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 fill in the blank, 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 fill in the blank, 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 fill in the blank. Fill in the blank, hosting a game show over Zoom. Fill in the blank, from his home with living room. Fill in the blank, the show is gonna start real soon. Fill in the blank, 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 blank. Fill in the blank, 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 blank. Fill in the blank, 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 blank. Fill in the blank. Fill in the Fill in the Fill in the Well, yeah. that was a lovely job, Brian. Hi. Thank you. So good to see you. Um, good to see you too. So I see Janice uh, didn't stick with the band long. Yeah. Uh, no. Well, you know. So I kicked Maggie out, and then now mm -hmm. Janice is getting her tonsils out. So. It's, yeah. You know, just why don't you just get Maggie back for next week? Uh, that probably is a good idea. Yeah. yeah, 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 it might be a good idea. But either way, it's so good to see you, Brian. What a week, am I right? Oh, what a week. It always is. Always is. Time keeps happening. Ugh. <laughs> but luckily, fill in the blank also keeps happening. Yes, it does. Oh, and I'm very excited this week because we got ourselves a little charity we're going to be helping. Oh, we do. We certainly do. Nobody we... told me about that. What's the charity? We are going to be asking for donations to Youth Pride Rhode Island. Ah, wonderful. yeah, we figured, you know, well, we just, we, I felt um, that, you know, people who watch this might have an interest in uh, LGBTQ plus themes. Uh, yeah, you, you might be on brand with that. Yeah. I mean, we've had at least one of the letters in every episode. I count for like <laughs> two of them, sometimes three, depending on my mood. <laughs> Uh, but I do, I do want to read a little thing about what Youth Pride does because I think they're just marvelous. Um, so Youth Pride is dedicated to meeting the unique needs of youth and young adults impacted by sexual orientation and gender identity expression while working to end the homophobic and transphobic environments in which they live, work, and play. Which I think is marvelous. Now we have a link in the description of this video. Um, someone might put it in the comments, I hope. It'll, it'll be shared generally. Um, and we, uh, so please give what you can. I, you know, it doesn't have to be a million dollars. If everybody gives $1, that's at least $1 from everybody. You know, it adds up and it adds up in more ways than one, because we would like you all to forward your receipts or to screenshots or whatever to info at epictheaterrhodeisland.org because we have ourselves another mysterious donor to match donations. Yeah, I think it, I'm convinced it's Billy Idol, but you know, who can be sure? I really hope so. I, I doubt it. I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. I don't think he's affiliated with this show. You um, just said you were convinced that it was Billy Idol. Yeah, I, I changed my mind. Yeah, yeah. It's sure. a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Not to change your mind. That's... Well, either way, so please everyone give what you can. We'll try to do some, some, some light comedy to, uh, convince you further but either way let's have ourselves a good show brian Hell you ready yeah. we'll, we'll get you back later and get All back right, maggie yes. for next week for the love of god uh yeah i will enjoy i will ah uh, we love a brian well hello everybody and thank you for watching fill in the blank i am your host aaron blank or at least the head of aaron blank at least I, i'd say i'm i'm some of aaron blank and i'm so excited that this week we are doing Youth Pride and doing a marvelous episode of Fill in the Blank with some amazing guests and an amazing contestant. So why don't we just get things started, shall we? 
Our contestant this evening is a fabulous actress who considers herself lucky, fortunate, and semi-talented enough, which I think she's amazing, but she wrote semi-talented, to work within the theater scenes in Rhode Island and Southern Massachusetts. She, you know, she is also an avid lover of music, particularly jazz, and was even a DJ at a jazz station in Denver, which is awesome. She loves to read and learn, and I have been informed if I need any more info about her, I should talk to her cats. And she only has two, because more than two apparently makes you a crazy cat lady. So please welcome tonight's contestant, Nancy Winokur. Hi, Aaron. Hey, Nance, how you doing? I am so good. I'm so happy to be here, so proud and honored to be here. And what a lineup tonight. Oh what a lineup. Can you believe it? No, I, I can't. I keep pinching, not just to make my face look tighter, but, you know. Just because you, we can't believe it, how we I got can't. to and you. But to you're be here for me. youth pride it is so great. Thank you for that. Oh, it's the least we can do. Like it's the actual least I can do. Like the actual. <laughs> the, I, yeah, I get that. <laughs> I just want to remind people who are doing less that it's the actual least that I can do. Um, no names. Because this isn't about them. This is about us, Nancy. I'm so it excited is. that you're here tonight. You're one of my favorite people. You were a silly fun lady and you got yourself a drink. So I think- you're And everyone who knows, I don't really drink, but tonight I broke out the scotch. Hey oh sounds, like sounds like somebody is ready to fill in some blanks. Yeah. Let me tell you, do you want to know what your prize is? If you, yes. if you get some points? Yes. Well, I'm not gonna, well, I'm not gonna tell you now. I'm gonna tell you when we get you back later. Okay. But thank you so much for coming on the show, Nancy. We'll have you back in a second. But first, we want to introduce some of these contestants to find out if we can get you some matches. All right. Well, now that we've met Nancy, let's meet our panelists. First up is the first lady of Hollywood. From Dust Bowl Saloon Dancer to Silent Screen Siren to Talkie Vixen, she has done it all. She is also the devoted mother to several children, most of which she can remember the names of. Please welcome Mommy Dearest herself, Academy Award winner, Joan Crawford. Thank you, Erin. Thank you for having me on your little program. Now, I love supporting young artists like yourself. Now, the arts need support more now than ever. And as a representative of Hollywood, it is my honor and duty to offer my support. I like to think of myself as the arts push-up bra, lifting the tits of the world for everyone to marvel at and gaze upon. Oh, I love that positive energy, Joan. <laughs> Tell me, how are the kids holding up in quarantine? Oh, they are fine, just, just fine, the little angels. You know, the press is always asking me, what makes Joan Crawford such a good mother? And they always reply, it beats me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet they do. Wire <laughs> hangers and all that. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, I, I just, um, you know, uh, the- um, Wire hangers? Yeah, you know, like, like fr from the movie. Oh, I know, I know all about you, all about you and your little jokes, your little ha-ha funnies. You're just like every filthy little goat-sucking bastard I've ever met. You want to make a fool out of me. Well, I've got news for you, Buster Brown. I have crawled through the lowest valleys of hell with nothing but my Johnny guitar asket and the sharpest cheek contour known to man. You can't break me. I, I mean, no disrespect, Miss. Don't Pop. fuck with me, fellas. This ain't my first time at the rodeo. Oh, she's gonna be fun. Oh, I can tell. Oh God, I love the legends. All right. Let's see who's next. Ah, oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, our next panelist is a rock and roll legend. Please welcome to your screens, the Twistin' Tornado, the vodka with a this, Mr. Twister, who wrote these? Nobody's there. The one and only, Chubby Checker! Come on, baby! Ah, oh, welcome to the show, Mr. Checker. Oh, can I call you Mr. Checker? Uh, well, you know, it you can just call me up, Chubby. Well, that already feels weird, but I'll do it. Chubby, we are so excited to have you on the show. You have been, if I can put this bluntly, shamelessly cashing in on the same exact song over and over again for your entire life. Uh, you're talking about the twist. 
Oh, I'm talking about the twist. Yeah, well, you know what they say, Aaron. If it ain't broke, let's twist again. Like we did. Oh, you got me there. Tell me more about the twist, Chubby. How did you come up with it? Uh, you mean the song? Well, I didn't exactly come up with the song. Hank Ballard wrote the song, but I covered it. And, and, and see, what I did was I sort of held my arms out in front of me and, and, and shook them back, you know, frantically and rhythmically, like so. And that's pretty much my contribution to music. Fantastic. And is it true that you also receive royalties every time M. Night Shyamalan directs a movie? That is true. The twist, be it the dance move or the cinematic storytelling technique is an actual intellectual property covered by me. Uh, that's what rock and roll is all about, baby. Copyright law. My competitors are playing chess. I'm playing- uh, uh, Checkers? Yep, I was gonna say Jim Rummy. Let's hear it again for Chubby Checker, folks. We'll bring you out back in a bit to fill in some blanks, okay? Uh, I also wrote Limbo Rock. Yeah, 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 I bet you did. Oh, he did write Limbo Rock, which is fun. Can you imagine doing the twist and Limbo Rock? No wonder he didn't try anything else. Well, either way, let's move on to our next celebrity guest. You may know her as Lil Tracy Turnblad, but mama, she's a big girl now. Introducing America's next top lesbian. It's Nikki Blonsky. Hi everybody, it's Nikki Blonsky from the movie Hairspray, AKA Tur Tracy Turnblad. I'm so excited to be here. I even took time off from sweeping the salon so I could make it. Well, we are honored you could make such a sacrifice to be here, Nikki. It really means a lot. I know times have been tough and have only gotten harder. Uh, how's quarantine living with your parents? Oh, you know, it gets cramped and they're always bombing my TikToks, but it helps save my pennies. <laughs> Penny. You know, sometimes life doesn't always treat you well in show business. The industry can be hard and you can get bullied every day and your Instagram can get hacked and you can come out on TikTok, but like Queenie says, tomorrow is a brand new day. Sometimes I'm not sure I want to say good morning to Baltimore again though and, and just stop the beat. Well, okay, that was morbid. Um... God, remind me not to ask her how she feels about the toilet paper situation. Well, folks, now it's time for the supreme songbird supreme of our generation. She is known for a whistle tone that makes Pinocchio look soft. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mariah Carey. Hello, Mariah. Mar Mariah, Mariah, is that you in the, in the spandex? My God, so the rumors are true that you really were wearing spandex with stilettos. I really wanted to believe it was one of those Jersey Shoreians. Where is Miss Carrie? I'm currently standing in the biracial lounge, her favorite room. I have looked everywhere. I even checked the least favorable wing of the state. Yes, everywhere. Even the twin studio. I haven't seen them since the last Pixar red carpet premiere. In regards to that though, we, we have a bigger issue. After we find Miss Carrie, um, we have to discuss the fact that Nick Cannon's been living in the kid's closet, claiming someone's gotta watch these children. Yes, mm-hmm, yeah. I mean, he's, he's not wrong. Hello? Oh, folks, you heard it here first. Nick Cannon has been filming wild and out out of Rock and Roll's playpen. Oh, oh my God, TMZ, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, this is not TMZ, although they are our only news source. This is the game show Mariah is supposed to be here for, but I'm sure as her personal assistant, that is the least of your worries. <laughs> personal assistant? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not her personal assistant. I'm Miss Carrie's personal assistant's personal assistant. I'm not allowed to look Miss Carrie in the eyes. Not yet anyways, but one day. <laughs> well, it's nice to know you have goals. Uh, would any of them include getting Miss Carrie to show up soon? <laughs> oh God, I fear we never may never see that poor girl again. 
Well, that's weird. She's not here. Um, so I guess we can get Nancy back and start the game. Hopefully she'll be here before the end of round one. Either way, Nancy, you can come back out. You ready to fill in some blanks? I am. Well, definitely then. am. I'm inspired. Even with Mariah not being there, I am inspired. Yeah, what's that about? Well, I've heard, but I know with the, the game show, I don't want to. No, we don't. We don't. We keep it light and we keep it tight and we keep it bright. Ah, I'll remember that when I give my answers. <laughs> well, let's talk about how this game works for those of us who haven't watched before. Please. So, I'm going to give our dear Nancy here some fill in the blank statements. She is going to fill in the blanks and then we are going to check for matches as our celebrities will also be filling in those blanks. And for every point you win, an angel gets a brand new hat. Ooh, mm -hmm. okay. And it's gonna be Whoops. a nice one. It's gonna have feathers, maybe some cherries. We'll see. Do I get anything? It's always about you, isn't it, Nancy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start okay. this. You All ready right. to do this? Ready. Here comes question one. Okay. Progress. Disney announced that they were already a year into the development stages of re-theming the famed Splash Mountain Ride from being themed around no one's favorite racist classic, Song of the South, and to now be themed after the iconic film, The Princess and the Frog. But I heard a rumor they are also planning on re-theming Big Thunder Mountain Railroad after blank. Well, this comes to me right away. Um, it has to be... Um, first of all, a song Obviously. that is going to be like an earworm, something that gets in there like it's a small world after all. I mean, that can stay for months after you've heard it. Years. Um, and it has to be a song that leads to something that could be a theme park or, or a ride at a theme park. Of course. So my choice is um, Old Town Road. Billy Ray Cyrus, Lil Nas, you are there because it's a great song. It gets in your crane and you cannot forget it. You hear it all the time. You can build on it as a cowboy theme, a bank robbery theme, all kinds of rides. And oh. it will bring people in because Little Nas will bring in a younger generation. Billy Ray brings in people who like mullets and older people, and you've got all kinds of music, so I'm, there's my answer. I, I think it's an amazing answer. I mean, we all know that, that mullet wearers are probably the one audience that Disney's really trying to cater to with this sort mm -hmm. of change. But I think Absolutely. that's so fun. We got to get Disney on the phone. That's actually a great idea. Thank you. Well, let's see if, if our celebrities agreed with you. Let's get you some matches. Let's start with Nikki Blonsky. Hi, Erin. It's Nikki Blonsky from the movie Hairspray, and I'm really excited to share my answer with you. I think you will appreciate this one, Erin. Okay. Uh, oh. Queen Latifah, a complete sexual memoir? Well, that sure is an answer. Why did you think I would like that one? Well, it's no secret you have her poster, and... Who could blame you? I too have some photos of Queenie myself. Queenie? Nikki, is, is there something you'd like to confess? I can't hide it any longer, Erin. America knows I'm gay, but it's time they know the real truth. Queen Latifah is my ex-lover. She was my first. I still remember that day on set, a fresh, young, 18-year-old girl, and I saw her. The wind knocked me off my... The poof in my hair went flat, and my poodle skirt collapsed. Amen, sister. I remember. I saw the movie. Love put me in a fix. Yes, it hit me just like a ton of bricks. Yes, my heart burst. Now I know what life's about. One little touch and love's knocked me out and I can hear the bell. Oh, uh, we don't have the rights to that. I can't afford to be playing songs from Broadway musicals. 
God, what not a, quite the answer. Yeah, a somewhat unsurprising turn of events, if I'll be honest. But a turn of events, nonetheless. God, but who can blame that girl? It, I mean, it is the queen. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh. sorry I didn't think of that one. I know. Why Why wouldn't you want it to be themed around Queen Latifah's sex life? That's so She obvious. wasn't my first lover. Fair. Mm. <laughs> Hey, I just, I just thought of, I just thought of a funny. You could, you could call it Splash Mountain if it's, if it's there, it's because you know, because um, yes, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, we're not going to explain it either way. Moving on, um, let's talk to somebody who will hopefully be a little less sexually motivated. Let's bring out Chubby Checker. Oh, Chubby, Chubby, what is the new theme for the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad? Uh, I'm glad you asked. Actually, I've been consulting with Disney on this for a number of years. Me and Walt share a deep respect for the ruthless corporations of entertainment. Anyway, the new theme for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is Harry Tubman. And the new ride is going to be called Big Underground Railroad Mountain Railroad. Oh, no, I don't like that. What's not to like? It's a roller coaster that simulates the escape to freedom across the Mason Dixon line. Yeah, I don't like the part where it milks America's darkest chapter that we still have not stopped seeing the repercussions of for a cheap thrill. You're on thin ice, Mr. Chubby. Next time I see you, your answer better be about the twist. That's really what they're gonna call it. How racially sensitive do you think Disney is? I'm noticing a theme with these answers is apparently black women. I'm not adding anything to that. <laughs> you know what? I don't think we should. I don't think there's anything that needs to be added. And I think there's several things that shouldn't be added. No. God, it was not a match though. And thank God it wasn't. <laughs> I think, I think you'd, I'd have to kick you off the program. No <laughs> hats for a little angels. Yep. No hats yet, but you know what? The night is young. So let's see if we can get an answer that has nothing to do with sex or race relations. Okay. Let's bring out Joan Crawford. Joan A, what do you think they're gonna make the big Thunder Mountain Railroad be themed around? Are you deliberately trying to embarrass me in front of these reporters? I, I'm sorry. You want me to say some, some pippy answer? <laughs> be the laughing stock of the whole Taj Mahal? Perhaps dice up some watermelon and eat it out of your hand, and all because I am a woman who speaks her mind. Joan, you're spiraling. Why can't you give me the respect I'm entitled to? Why can't you treat me like I would be treated by any stranger on the street? Because I am not one of your fans! Oh, okay, well, that's perfectly fine. Then I'll give you my answer, Flubber. I think it could be adorable have the ride cars be little green guys. Have that small robot fly around the cars. Maybe even get Marsha Gay Harden to operate the ride uh, as an Easter egg to true fans of the film. That is a great answer, Joan. Fortunately, not a match, though I'm glad that you're not mad at me anymore. Oh, I was never mad at you, darling. I was mad at the dirt. Well, I would honestly love a Flubber ride. I, have you ever seen Flubber? Yes, and I would like that ride. What a film. Little green squish. And I never called it a film before, but yes. Well, you know, there's some movies are movies, but some films are films. I only know of two. It's Babe, Pig in the City, and Flubber. Flubber. Those are films. Everything else? is garbage because not a match though no but a nice answer and another i hope disney's watching we can get an uh, the old town road ride and we can get flubber the ride all right but let's cross our fingers and see if mariah has finally decided to join us or i do hope poor girl is having a nervous breakdown either would be pretty entertaining <laughs> mariah are you there Back in 15, in order to be back, you'd have to actually be there, Mariah. 
All right, somebody patch me through to that overworked personal assistant assistant because I will not be snubbed of showing Mariah my All I Want for Christmas remix now streaming on SoundCloud. I am going to do the next prompt, but I want answers. She better show up. Where, where could she be? We're all at our houses. I don't know, Nance. But it, She's no, not Nancy. at the gym. Yeah. Well, we don't. Oh, Nancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. God. I have to go now. <laughs> no, you stay. We okay. got, we may not have got any matches on that first one, but I feel good about this second prompt. Oh, good. Good. I'm ready. I feel, I feel great about it. I don't see in any way that it's going to be controversial. I think this is just going to be a fun light round. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm All ready. Right. So let's go for it. Question two. Uh-huh. The government of Mississippi, a state that formally ratified the 13th Amendment in the year 2013, announced their plans to take the Confederate flag off their state flag and replace it with a picture of blank. Well, we're talking about Mississippi and the South. We sure are. And people in the South and the Southern states are slow to change, obviously, because just in June, they decided maybe they should take those Confederate flags down and put them away. Fair Our point. Um, and they were, they were slow to that. I mean, slavery was abolished, but they still thought they could have slavery. So they, they, it's a slow move in the South. Mm. Um, so I had heard that the powers that be thought, well, maybe we could move up to the 1980s and put a picture of David Duke. And, I, and they, they were told, no, that won't be, that is not, that's not proper. So they went to a younger, audience and got opinions and uh, mostly um, out of state Ole Miss students gave them ideas and um, I think it's a wonderful idea and it's going to have three pictures and um, it's going to be from the 1964 Freedom Summer and it's going to be um, James Cheney Michael Schwemmer and Andrew Goodman. They were freedom fighters. They were killed for opposing the Klan. Mm -hmm. They were burned, buried. I don't know if people have seen the movie uh, Mississippi Burning, but you should. Yeah. And I think their three faces from 1964, because we're facing the same, not to get serious, but we're facing um, the same thing here in 2020, trying to repress voting. Mm -hmm. So I think their three faces would be a fabulous addition. I think that is a fantastic answer. And to anyone watching who would wish that we would keep it light and bright, fix the world and we will. Yeehaw! But I think that's an amazing answer. And I hope they actually do it. You actually have great answers, Nancy. Thank you. These are, not that I didn't expect it, but just, I don't know if you're going to get a match with good answers. We got some real idiot celebrities on here. <laughs> But no, way. I, I think I would think maybe um, Chubby might. No, he might agree with you. After yeah. that last one, it's possible he could. Yeah. But let's find out if we can get you a match. But honestly, let's just let's just get Mariah out of the way. See if we can see if if the diva has arrived. Icon, Mariah, are you here? No. Uh, wow, not even an updated that this rate, I, what is, icons are worth the wait. I, I see you. I know you're there. I, I mean, I, I assume that that spandex girl, a personal assistant assistant is underneath that paper bag or, or else this is going to be something else. Oh. What is that? What? Oh, there's, oh, I'm receiving a, a, a text on the Zoom. Um, uh, sorry, Miss Blank, but Mariah's personal assistant has caught whiff of my brief screen time and has deemed me too unfabulous to be seen and or heard. My face will be hidden as it is far too average for television appearances. Mariah Carey said she'll be making a brief appearance shortly. Please don't read this on air. <laughs> oh, um. Ooh. Well, at least we know Mariah's coming and her, her team and I can agree that this girl doesn't make the cut. 
God. Oh, well, that's not a match. No. Um, uh, I don't even know if it was technically an answer, but I, I do feel different than I did before. So it had a reaction. And so that means something, right? I'm ever hopeful for maybe Joan. We listen, why don't, you know, why don't we go with your first instinct though? Why don't we bring out Chubby Checker, see what he's got okay. for us. Chubby, get out here. Chubby, what is going on in the new Mississippi flag? And no cheap shots at abolitionists. I'm really glad you asked, Aaron. And actually I've been consulting with the state of Mississippi on this for some time. The Mississippi flag will now have an image of Two Confederate flags having sex, but they're cousins. Chubby, so politically charged. We brought you on here for answers about the twist. Uh, but that is a twist. They're cousins. <laughs> it was incest the whole time. Not a Shamalaya twist, my God. I mean, honestly, good answer. That was funny. But please get out of answer. here. Two Confederate, but they're cousins. <laughs> Very uh, good answer, uh, Chubby. Yeah, that was a good answer. Not a match. Not a match. A lot of blue humor tonight, but not a match. I never thought of that. Now let's, you know what? Let's see what, what Nikki's got for us. Nikki Blonsky. Hey, everybody. It's me again, Nikki Blonsky from the movie Hairspray, aka Tracy Turnblad. And I have an answer that's going to shake and shimmy. Ooh. Hi. Uh, Queen Latifah as Matron Mama Morton in Chicago. Nikki, are all your answers going to be Queen Latifah related? Well, Erin, she's such a powerful, beautiful, strong, bold, sensual woman. I mean, when we were learning our choreography, I tripped over Amanda's foot and landed right in her warm, open arms. I still remember the smell of her perfume. Interestingly, Travolta wore the same perfume when he was on set. It was confusing to say the least. Sometimes I wake up screaming from nightmares where Queenie and I are kissing on the streets of Baltimore while I'll pray to people dance and sing before she spins me around. And when I look back, Travolta is waiting for me in that horrible brown wig and everybody in the crowd has turned into hundreds of Christopher Walkins telling her she's timeless, timeless. Are we just sitting in on her therapy session? I don't know what is going on. She's got, there's a lot of trauma to heal from there. No words. No, no words, All only faces. God, we do not have, we do not have time to unpack all of that baggage, at least not if we want to continually upset the show's lawyer. And speaking of legality, let's bring on Miss Crawford. Oh, Joni. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Joan. What would you like to see replace the Confederate flag on the Mississippi flag? Well, well, Aaron, I have thought long and hard about this. As I am a big fan of flags and all other forms of pageantry, whenever I see a crisp sheath of nylon flowing in the breeze flying over our dear and beloved country, I drop a big one in my compression garment. And I thought, about what could possibly help heal a wounded nation. So I put Pepsi Cola. A good crisp Pepsi Cola can cure anything, racism, sepsis, typhus, anything. I start every morning by cleansing my pores with a spritz bottle full of Pepsi Cola. I wash my hair with it. I even pair every meal with a shot of Pepsi Cola. Sometimes I will have to have you over and I can make you my delicious Pepsi Cola casserole. It's cheese curds over lamb doused in Pepsi Cola. Well, not a match, unfortunately, but a great answer, though. If I'm going to be honest, I'm not much of a soda drinker. I only ever have water and the occasional vino. I should have known you'd know where to find the booze and the boys. Yikes. Eesh. I just can't win with her, huh? <laughs> no. No, but not a match, though. No, though sadly. Could, though that could be fun. Some corporate branding, get Pepsi to pay for it. But I will say the visual of the Pepsi Cola casserole has kind of um, upset me in more ways than one. <sighs> 
I've never had it and she's not inviting me over. Sorry, Joan, we're not coming. But you know what, N Nance, we've had yes. a good two rounds. Why don't you go freshen up your drink? We'll take Thank a break. You. I'll get, we'll get you back on in a second. Now it's time to check in and see how things are over the rainbow with a new segment we're calling The Weather with Judy Garland. Take it away, Judy. Thank you, Mitzi. <laughs> well, let's take a look at your seven day forecast. Tomorrow, looks like Leo Sayer is gonna dress up like mine and sing queen songs. So don't forget to bring your winter flask out of the attic. Monday is gonna be all rain. Every road is gonna look like Mamie Eisenhower's bangs. So don't even think about planning a picnic without bringing paprika for the devil eggs out the mold. Tuesday, it's gonna be all sunshine. So if Marlene Dietrich shows up at your supper club and pulls out one of her records, don't let her play it. It's just applause. And no, I didn't mean applesauce. I don't touch this stuff. Wednesday is a terrible day for blackface. Actually, every day is a terrible day for blackface. It's a recurring weather pattern. And yes, I did it as a child, but remember I was on three different flavors of speed and wasn't the current president of Canada. Thursday will be temperate. Friday will be a good day for tree climbing. And to that tree climbing job Aaron found on Indeed that told him they were going in a different direction. You can eat my piss. Eat it. <sighs> and lastly, Saturday will be a great day to donate to Youth Pride RI at the link provided in the video description. Every penny counts. Plus, if you're watching this show, you obviously have an interest in LGBTQ plus art and artists, so it's the least you can do. Well, that does it for me. Tune in next week when I won't be here. So who gives a toot? Well, oh, thanks for that, Judy. God, what a, what a, what a dame, what a gal, what a lady. And that's true, by the way. I applied for a tree climbing job and they told me they were going in a different direction. You're going up. This is clear. Either way, thank you, Judy, because we now know how to plan my week. Whatever a week is, time is irrelevant in the new world. Now, before I bring Nancy back, I will say, while Judy was giving that weather report, Mariah called my phone and left a voicemail. So why don't we play it and let her explain herself? I saw myself from a different angle in the mirror today, and creativity hit, and I knew I had to fly, fly like a bird, and sink to the sky, to the studio to deliver my truth, but on the way there, I saw something glitter, and I needed to find it, see it, but yeah, I am glitter, glitter is me, oh, right, uh, why did I agree to show up on that knockoff SNL? Next time you book me via SNL, tell them I want to skit with Keenan. It's time to show my comedic chops. And don't tell me you can't get it. And the musical guest will be rock and roll. Wait, you're recording me now? Do you have anything to tell me? Why are you so obsessed with me? We'll be having a chat about your resignation shortly. Hey, it's your girl Mariah. Mimi, it is with regret I say, Miss Aria Black, that I will not be able to make it to your little show. You'll have to phone the black without me. No hard feelings, though, boo boo. Real fans understand you just gotta shake it off. Until next time, ta ta. Well, I guess Mariah's not coming. I guess we'll just have to book her for her next week. Either way, I do appreciate her calling. 
God, I can't believe we advertise a celebrity and they aren't going to be here. I mean, what do I think? This is all some kind of sick game. Yes, yes, I do. So let's get Nancy back out here so we can finish our final round of fill in the blank. I'm sorry about Mariah. It's okay. We'll we'll book her. We'll book her for the next episode. Maybe she'll show up in three weeks. Or Christmas. Christmas. I mean, we do know she loves a Christmas. She does. We'll just have to have a Mariah Carey Christmas Spectacular edition, where it's just me and her talking. Yes. But she's not here right now, Nancy. You are. I am. And I'm so ready for the third question. Yeah, let's get you your third question. Let's get you a match. You got your drink? I do. I got my drink. <laughs> let's go. Question ready. three. <clears throat> ay, ay, ay. These fireworks are going off every night. But I have it from a good source that what we are hearing aren't fireworks but are actually blank. Well, <clears throat> um, I actually have some knowledge about this. And yes, the fireworks have been going since early May till now. Mm -hmm. And it's been a bit much. It, it's harmful for dogs, people with PTSD, babies. It's just, it's too much. Too much. But I do know, I do know that it has not all been fireworks. Um, because I have been part of this only once, only once though. You know how <clears throat> like in New York City and in Italy, Denver, where I have friends, um, every night about seven o'clock they bang support of, of, of the first responders, the doctors, the nurses, the firemen, the police, you know, just yeah. flight attendants, everybody who's out there working. Yeah. You, Aaron, you. Me. You're there. They're clapping <clears throat> for me. So that. People thought it was bad, but, it, but it's not. What is it? And please don't judge me. Please don't judge me. I would never judge. This is a space of love and encouragement. Okay. I do know for a fact it, it's, um, it's a new thing. It's called group flatulence. Is they fine? It's a thing. What are they eating? Well, no more Goya, that's for sure. I was gonna say, not Goya. Mm -mm -mm. No. no. Not good. Oh, Nancy, what an answer. Thank Group you. flatulist. That's filthy. <laughs> that's gonna get us all arrested. Could, I love we it. could get an angel a hat. And you know what? I think if we're gonna get an angel a hat, a bunch of people farting is gonna be what does it. Thank you. So let's let's see if we can get you some matches. Come on down, Mildred Fierce. Come on, Joni. Joan, what do you think the fireworks really are? Ah, uh, thank you for asking me that wonderful question, Aaron. You, know, you speak so eloquently. You're like a less butch Rosalind Russell. <laughs> I have so enjoyed my time on your little program. Ooh. And I hope after my involvement, you might be able to get a viewer or two to watch. Now, about those fireworks that are so irritating and annoying and they frighten small pets and our veterans. So the first thing I thought they could be was that old Worcestershire battle ax, Betty Davis. I <laughs> ears are ringing and my nails are cracking <laughs> and my bones are being audited. So old cranberry crawfish must be mentioned <gasps> my name to try and gain some relevance and mustard on our hot diggity dog. Oh, bet you've got only a face that a mother could abhor. <laughs> and I don't need relevance. I was defiled before people started throwing me onto talk shows dressed just like an Easter basket. And people only remember you because that wretched Faye Dunaway played you like she was choking on green peppers in kabuki makeup. Oh, don't get me started on Dunaway. She thought having wavy hair was talent. Oh, that's right. I don't hate you, Lucille. I hate Faye fucking Dunaway. And I have enough hate in my heart to hate both of you. What do you say, Bet, for old time's sake? Let's go prank Zoom Dunaway 
Tell her Andrew Lloyd Webber is writing her a new musical. Or that a homosexual boy touched her Caesar salad. It's the perfect crime. She has no concept of time, so she doesn't even know we are both dead. We're what? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> wow. Wow. That, wh that, Betty Davis just did a drive-by. You should be honored. I am. Though I got, I'd love to be on that Zoom where they prank Zoom Faye Dunaway. That's funny. God, not a match though. No, it's not a match, sad. But I would say it was worth it. I felt like we were in a Ryan Murphy docuseries. <laughs> God, but you know what? Mm -hmm. You got more chances. We're gonna get you matches. And I'm probably going to regret this and Lord knows my therapist certainly will, but Nikki Blonsky, come on out. Hi, Aaron, it's me, Nikki Blonsky. Yeah, I know, I know. You're Nikki Blonsky from the movie Hairspray. We get it. Care to share your answer? Oh, wait, don't tell me. It's Queen Latifah's rendition of I Know Where I've Been. Actually, Aaron, that was close, but it, uh, Amanda, a dramatic reading of Amanda Spine Twitter feed. Well, finally, a little variety from you, and I'm not talking about your Tracy Turnblad performance. By Queen Latifah. Oh, that tracks. Nobody else could capture the pain of such a tortured soul while also portraying the nuances of the dark comedy that this industry instills in you. Who else could capture the bold assertiveness which, which Amanda confronts her infatuation with Drake directly? The poetic simplicity. I know I'd let Queen Latifah murder my vagina. Again, oh Queenie. Yeah, I, I don't know how to respond to that. Or do I? No, I don't. I don't. All I'm saying is, Aaron, I understand Amanda. I've been where she's been. Show business is hard. Show business can be tough. And when you think you've got it and you're dancing with Disney's new heartthrob and the most beautiful woman you've everything, ever seen, everything can change in a second. There are going to be ups and downs in life, but if you love something like you and I love acting, you have to stick at it as hard as it gets. And as much as you want to quit every day, I've been there. Stick with it, kid. You just got to own up to who you are. Tell the world, hey, I'm Nikki Blonsky from the movie Hairspray, and this is who I am. Well, that was not a match, but it was a little dark and inspirational. Very poetic. Very. I, I think I'm going to start every morning now by saying, hey, I'm Nikki Blonsky from the movie Hairspray. It's going to be that earworm. Mm hmm. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. that's who the, the ride should be in <laughs> Disney World is just the Nikki Blonsky from the movie Hairspray ride. And it's just the song playing is just a loop of her saying it. <laughs> I'd ride it. And speaking, of, yeah. And speaking of somebody that we both would ride, Chubby Checker, what do you have to say, Checky? Uh, those ain't fireworks you're hearing, baby. It's the, the Chubby Twist. The Chubby Twist. The Chubby Twist, baby. It's the newest dance going round the land. It starts in your fingers and it ends in your pants. You can feel the rhythm as the music plays. You can twist your chubby in a million ways. Let's twist. Everybody, let's twist. Twist the chubby and dance, dance, dance. Now you're really making romance. Two, three, four. My chubby. Twist my chubby. Woo! Well. That was great. It was great but it was not a match. 
No. So unfortunately, no points for you tonight, Nance. I'm a and loser. No, and no angels get hats, but no, we're all winners. I feel like a winner. And you know what? Because when, we, when you're a part of something or you watch something that's as foul and offensive as all of that just was, I think that there's a great way to cleanse yourself as a viewer. Maybe by clicking on one of the links in the description and donating to Youth Pride Rhode Island and then sending proof of your donation to info at epictheaterri.org to get your donation matched. We can, we can do some good in a world filled of nonsense in a show exclusively filled with nonsense. Absolutely, I want all those people to send in to get it matched. Yes, we, we could raise a million dollars. Probably not, but we could. Could. We ra last time we did this, we raised $4,000. Anything is possible, folks. Wow. Anything. But first and foremost, I would like to thank you, Nancy, for being our contestant tonight. This has been the highlight of, of July. Thank you. Well, it's July's great. early, but something tells me that's not, a, that's not a hard bet. It was great. Thank you. Well, you were a great guest. We'll have you back anytime. I will and, be here. Yes. And I would like to thank our whole cast and crew, including our writers, Brian Katiadera and myself. And I'd also like to thank the Epic Theater Company for streaming this show tonight. And thank you for watching tonight or whenever you are. And now there is really only one thing left to do. Hey, Brian. What? Let's do the twist. Come on, everybody, get out here and dance. Come on, everybody, clap your hands. You're looking good. I'm going to sing my song. It won't take long. We're going to do the twist, and it goes like this. Let's twist again, like we did last summer. Again, let's twist again, like we did last year. Do you remember when things were really humming? Come on, let's twist again, like we did last year. Baby, ooh, round and round and round and round we go. Twisting time, we're twisting so. You know I love you so. Are you twist, let's twist again, like we did last summer. Ooh, baby, let's twist again like with you last year. Baby, is that a bird? No, is it a plane? No, is it a twist? Yeah, yeah it's a twist, a twist, a twist, 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 twist like we did last summer. Ooh, baby, twist your chubby, twist your chubby time. Ooh. Wave good night, stars. <laughs>